When we create our own constructor in a class, this can be considered a custom constructor. I just main constructors other than the default constructor here. A custom constructor typically is a constructor that takes one or more arguments. Here's an example of a class with a custom constructor. It might look familiar. You can see the custom constructor public student here, and it's taking two parameters, a name and an age. And these are used to set the properties of the instance. To create an object of the student class using the custom constructor, we can use the following syntax, student s1 equals new student john20. The john argument gets passed to the parameter name. And 20 gets passed to the parameter age. This might be weird if you're a 20 year old john watching this, I can guarantee you this is a 100% coincidence and no funny AI stuff at all. Classes can actually have more than one constructor, as long as they have a different signature. And a different signature means different parameters when we talk about constructors. So let's say that our student class also has a student number. We could then have an extra constructor that also sets the student number. Let me show this to you in IntelliJ. It gets too big to go on this slide. All right, so I'm going to be starting by adding a student number here. And it's going to be of type string. And maybe we don't always need to initialize this student number when we create an instance of student. And that's why we also want to have the option to have the constructor with only the name and the age. So I'm going to be adding a constructor here, say public student string name, int h, and then say string student number. And in the body of the constructor, I'm going to say this name equals name, this age equals age, and I'm going to say this dot student number equals student number. There we go. So as you can see, classes can have multiple constructors. And remember, when a class has a custom constructor, the default constructor won't be added. So if I'm going to run this app again and then inspect the decompiled class, you can see that we no longer have the default constructor in here. Why not? Well, we have two custom constructors. It no longer creates the default no arch constructor. Let's explore two important ways of calling constructors from constructors in the next video.